システム準備完了オーシステムスタートメインエンジンスタートメインエンジンリフォメーショントルビエデカリフトオープン Well, trying to land on the moon is not a simple task. Only four countries have done so, so far, and there have been multiple failures by others. And so anyway, <clears throat> this is a big deal for Japan. Now, Japan's moon lander has uh, survived the harsh lunar night. What does it mean? Well, that's the sunless and freezing equivalent to two Earth weeks. Japan's moon sniper lander, also known as SLIM, smart lander for investigating moon, has emerged as a remarkable success in the field of space exploration. Despite facing unexpected challenges, the lander has not only defied expectations, but has also provided valuable insights into the harsh lunar environment, particularly the extreme temperature fluctuations that occur during the lunar day and night. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, which is responsible for the mission, has expressed its excitement and pride in the lander's achievements. The Moon Sniper mission, which touched down on the lunar surface on January 19, 2025, marked a historic moment for Japan. It made Japan the third country in the 21st century and the fifth country ever to achieve a successful lunar landing. The spacecraft's landing site was near the Shioli Crater, approximately 200 miles 322 kilometers, south of the Sea of Tranquility, a region famously associated with the Apollo 11 mission. The Apollo 11 mission in 1969 was the first to land humans on the moon, a monumental achievement in human space exploration. However, despite the mission's success in reaching the lunar surface, things didn't go according to plan immediately. During its descent, the spacecraft encountered an anomaly and ultimately landed on its nose. As a result, its solar panels, which were essential for generating power, were not positioned optimally, instead facing west rather than upright. This malfunction meant that the spacecraft could not generate enough power to remain active for long periods, and it was expected to shut down after only a brief period of operation. In its short period of activity, Moon Sniper sent back a mosaic of images of the lunar surface, offering a glimpse into its surroundings. Despite the technical setback, the mission's team remained optimistic that once the solar panels were exposed to sunlight, the spacecraft might be able to reawaken. What followed has been a series of unexpected successes that have surprised both the mission team and experts in the field of space exploration. A key challenge for any spacecraft operating on the moon is surviving the extreme temperature variations that occur between the lunar day and night. During the lunar night, temperatures can plunge to minus 208 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 133 degrees Celsius. While during the lunar day, the temperature can soar to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 121 degrees Celsius. These extreme fluctuations pose a significant risk to any spacecraft as they can damage sensitive equipment and disrupt the mission's operations. Moon Sniper, however, has managed to endure these harsh conditions and has even thrived in the face of adversity. While the spacecraft was not designed to survive multiple lunar nights, it has done so three times already, much to the astonishment of the JAXA team. After each lunar night, the spacecraft has successfully reawakened, transmitting new images back to Earth before once again entering hibernation mode. The resilience displayed by Moon Sniper in the face of the lunar extremes is unprecedented among recent lunar missions. The ability to survive multiple lunar nights can be attributed to a number of factors, including the spacecraft's design, as well as the clever engineering and adjustments made by JAXA's team. For example, engineers have been cautious about how they communicate with the spacecraft during its wake-up period. Since the spacecraft is subjected to extremely high temperatures during the lunar day, the mission team waits for about a day before commanding Moon Sniper to send back images. This delay helps prevent the cameras from overheating, which could cause irreparable damage. Additionally, Moon Sniper has made use of a star tracker, a device originally intended to track the spacecraft's orientation rather than capture images. However, the team cleverly employed this technology to capture images of the lunar surface. The Star Tracker, though not a traditional camera, has provided valuable data by capturing images of the lunar landscape in ways that were not originally planned. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Moon Sniper mission is the precision technology that enabled the spacecraft to land within 55 meters, 180 feet, of its target. This level of accuracy is particularly impressive given the complexities of landing on the lunar surface. 
where the terrain can vary significantly. This precision landing capability earned the spacecraft its nickname, Moon Sniper, and demonstrates the advanced technological expertise behind the mission. While the spacecraft's unexpected landing on its nose posed significant challenges, it also revealed the versatility of the lander's design. The team at JAXA has made innovative adjustments to make the most of the spacecraft's available resources, even when conditions were not ideal. For instance, the mission team employed secret commands to use the Star Tracker as a camera, capturing images of the lunar surface from the spacecraft's perspective, despite the challenges posed by its unconventional landing. The spacecraft also has two navigation cameras, which are mounted in different directions. Although one of the cameras faces into space, the other provides a valuable view of the landing site. This clever design has allowed the mission team to continue collecting useful images and data, even after the spacecraft landed in an unexpected orientation. The ability of Moon Sniper to survive the lunar night has important implications for future lunar exploration. In particular, it provides valuable insight into the challenges and potential solutions for long-duration missions on the Moon. The spacecraft's success in this regard demonstrates that it is possible to design spacecraft that can withstand the extreme temperature fluctuations of the lunar environment. This achievement is especially significant in the context of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to establish a sustainable human presence on the Moon. For such a long-term mission to succeed, spacecraft and other equipment must be able to survive the harsh conditions of the lunar surface, including the long lunar nights. The Moon Sniper mission's ability to endure these conditions provides valuable data that will inform the design of future lunar exploration missions. Additionally, the success of Moon Sniper highlights the growing importance of international collaboration in space exploration. Japan's successful landing on the Moon, along with recent missions by countries like India and private companies such as Intuitive Machines, is contributing to a new era of lunar exploration. As nations and companies work together, they are developing new technologies and strategies to overcome the challenges of lunar exploration and pave the way for future human missions to the Moon. The Moon Sniper mission is part of a broader resurgence in lunar exploration, with several countries and companies launching missions to the Moon in recent years. For instance, India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, which successfully landed on the Moon in August 2023, was the fourth country to do so. While Chandrayaan-3 made history by reaching the lunar South Pole, it faced its own challenges. The mission's lander and rover were unable to survive the lunar night, and attempts to reawaken them were unsuccessful. In February 2025, the Houston-based company Intuitive Machines launched its uncrewed IM-1 mission, also known as Odysseus, which made the first soft landing at the lunar South Pole by a commercial spacecraft. However, like Chandrayaan-3, Odysseus also faced difficulties. It was not designed to survive the lunar night, and after operating for only a week, it went into hibernation. Unfortunately, the spacecraft did not wake up after the lunar night, unlike Moon Sniper. The fact that Moon Sniper has been able to survive three lunar nights while other missions have struggled with similar challenges speaks to the spacecraft's durability and the ingenuity of the JAXA team. In particular, the ability of Moon Sniper to overcome the limitations imposed by its landing position has set it apart from other missions, highlighting the importance of designing spacecraft that can adapt to unforeseen circumstances. As space agencies around the world continue to push the boundaries of lunar exploration, the Moon Sniper mission stands as a testament to the potential for innovation and resilience in space exploration. With NASA's Artemis program aiming to establish a permanent presence on the Moon, the lessons learned from missions like Moon Sniper will be crucial in ensuring the success of future lunar missions. The Moon Sniper mission has proven that it is possible to land with great precision on the lunar surface and survive the extreme conditions of the lunar environment. Its success also demonstrates the importance of adaptability in space exploration, as unexpected challenges are inevitable. As more countries and companies enter the race to explore the moon, the knowledge gained from Moon Sniper's journey will undoubtedly inform future missions, contributing to the continued exploration of the lunar surface and the eventual goal of sustained human presence on the moon.